Hello everybody, I am JG and today we're going to install an SSD in this. So from my understanding of this Mac, to do any hardware changes on it, you have to remove this screen, including RAM. 27 inch iMacs sometimes have a access port on the back of them, here's a fan, but as you can see, this has no way to enter or fix any hardware. You only have this little, there's a vent right here behind this arm. That is all you have. No screws, nothing. So, what we're going to have to do is take something like a guitar pick. This is the first thing you will need. This came with my adhesive set, so on Amazon you can find them. I'll put a link in the description below of what I use. Comes with this, another guitar pick, which I didn't use at all. This thing, which is terrible, do not use this at all because it will scratch anything. The edges are very sharp. And this to get it off adhesive, this is like a little pencil thing made out of plastic to get any adhesive off that you didn't need to. I just use my fingers. Um, you can do it that way. So what you're going to want to do is run this pick all the way through the edges, making sure to avoid this camera and not break it and go easy because there's Wi-Fi antennas. You don't have to run it down here. You just have to get these top three sides and bend it forward which you will see in the time lapse of me doing this install. So we're gonna go to that and then I'll talk about a little bit more in depth of the installation process and how to get this screen out and what to avoid. So let's roll that clip and see how it goes. SSD is recognized in the system, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this down and then get these adhesive and put this screen back on. Okay guys, that was the install. It took, that was at 20 times speed, and that was still about a two minute, 30 second video. The hardest part that I thought was two things. The hardest part was thinking that you're going to break the screen and break the webcam, which I didn't. I was pretty rough with it, but everything's good. This is the iMac that I've already installed SSD on because I'm filming this after I tore it down and everything. So it works, everything's great, the SSD performs amazingly, but before I talk about the performance and everything, let me continue talking about the install. It was hard and getting the adhesive strips straight, it took me forever and getting them off, so just make sure you take your time with that. This is going to last 
This is going to be your iMac from now on. You don't want to be thinking about how there's a crooked adhesive in there going off to the edge. So, what you're going to need after you do that is a little toolkit like this with, I think they're called a hex bit, so that you can get, because Apple is too cool to use actual Phillips or flathead bits, but they have to do this stupid little thing, like, we already tore the screen off, at least give us a break. So, you're going to need a tool set like this. I just bought this from Home Depot, it was like 10 bucks. You're going to want, if you are planning on keeping your Mac hard drive, you're going to want a 2.5 inch enclosure, or an enclosure, if you have a different Mac that has a 3.5 inch drive, you're going to want an enclosure for that, or you could put it somewhere else. I bought this little thing for on Amazon, it's a 3.0 enclosure for $14. You can find them everywhere. And this is where I put my Mac hard drive. I'm now using it just as storage and a backup. So I just back up the SSD onto this. It's slow, it's old, but I still want to use it. If you guys are just thinking about throwing it away, send it to me. <laughs> um, you're going to want a USB drive or some type of media to reinstall Mac OS X on this or whatever OS you want to put on it. And I recommend doing a fresh install, making this with Disk Maker. You can get that as a Mac app. I have my laptop, I just created the newest and put it on here and installed it to the Mac. Or you can restore from a backup, which I hope you did before you took out the hard drive. And that's basically it. Now let's go ahead and talk about the performance of the Mac. I put a 240 gig SanDisk SSD in it. I have this right here. I didn't do anything special, I didn't do a Samsung thing, or I just have this SSD Plus, it's 120, 240 gigs, excuse me, and I just installed it, it fit in the exact place of the hard drive and everything was good, you just need to make sure to get the adhesive off of the rubber mount for the hard drive, get all of that adhesive off and then put the SSD in it, and as you can see I didn't fully put the screen back on before I turned it on. I wanted to make sure I didn't break the screen and that the SSD was recognized. So before putting the adhesive back on, I tilted the screen all the way up, set the display there, turned it on, made sure that the SSD was recognized in the internet recovery. And then I went ahead and took the screen back off, put the adhesive on and put the screen in there because I would hate to have a bad faulty SATA connection, get the screen back on, turn it on and realize that you have to take the screen off and that you've wasted your last hour. So make sure the SSD works before you actually, or whatever you're putting in it, actually put the screen back on. Make sure it comes on and everything. And also I paused twice. Second, I had the adhesive on, I paused right here. I turned the Mac on to make sure the display connector worked. Once I saw it came up, I went ahead and pushed around it and made sure it was all good. So that's basically all you need and you need a lot of time. Don't start this as a, I have 30 minutes and then I need to go. You're going to want at least a good two hours, or if you were doing it quick, you might want one hour, but it all depends. If you don't feel comfortable ripping the screen off of your Mac, because it, it is going to void the warranty, you're going to want to go ahead and find an Apple reseller. If you're in the Florida area, you can just contact me and I will probably do it for you and you just want to find someone else to do this for you. It's a lot of work and I really enjoyed it because I know how to work on a Mac now so if I ever need to add more RAM I could rip the screen off again. Uh, let's talk about price. The price of the adhesive was I think $14, $15 and that came with all of the tools. Some of them on Amazon don't come with the tools so if you have a guitar pick you're fine and a screwdriver set. This didn't come with it but um, the SSD I had a discount code for it, it was like $70 and and then I got it for $60 and that's basically it. I installed it in there. I feel like I should have went with a something over 480 maybe a 512 or 500 gig SSD, but I'm good with that. I'm using my old Mac hard drive as this to store the really big stuff on and basically I really, the performance, it's perfect. So much faster. It's like if you bought this Mac for the $200 or $400 SSD upgrade, it's just like that. It, there's nothing that's weird about it. One thing that you need to remember if you are installing a non-Apple SSD, so like Samsung, SanDisk, you have to enable trim. So that's the first thing you're going to want to do is enable trim on the Mac. 
And that's if you're installing an SSD because it doesn't factory support it because it's not an Apple SSD, but when you do buy a MacBook or a Mac or an iMac with an SSD in it, it comes enabled from the factory. So you're going to want to enable trim. I'm going to have a Word doc down in the description of how to do that. And you're going to want to do that the first thing you do before installing all your programs. You're going to want to enable trim. And if you want to, I would enable file vault. I think that's what it's called. That encrypts the disk. But other than that, this was an interesting install. If you have any questions, you get stuck, something happens in here and you're like, oh my God, what did I do? Just comment down in the comment sections. And guys, I hoped you enjoyed, I hoped you enjoyed this review or not really review, but tear down or repair of a Mac. If you have a failing hard drive, message me. And this is how basically you want to go about replacing it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions at all, just comment down in the comment section or shout me out on Twitter, whichever you want to do. And I hope to see you guys back next week for another video. Make sure to subscribe.